Hello, this tutorial is a supplement presentation to help you start your EHR project plan. Make sure you've seen the uh, tutorials or videos called creating a project plan from scratch and also the one called creating a critical path. To begin our EHR project plan, Go ahead and open your Microsoft Project application. Uh, it'll open up a um, an empty project plan, and the first thing we'll do is go ahead and save that by clicking on the File menu. Click on Save As, and we'll call this EHR Project Plan. first thing we'll do uh, for our new EHR project plan is to save, actually to um, include a start date for the whole project. So let's click on project, select project information, and make sure that you have today's date, which is February 14th, 2008, on the start date um, text box. Check and see if all of the information are correct, and then we'll click on OK. And the next thing you want to do too, although it's not necessary for this particular exercise, is to set up your resources. And if you remember, you can set up your resources by going to Edit, going to View, and then go to um, the Resource Sheet and filling out your Resource Table. After you set up the resources, we'll go back to the Gantt chart by clicking on the view menu and click on the Gantt chart. Now that you've saved your project plan, the first thing we'll do is enter the tasks that are involved in this project plan. Uh, the tasks are listed in the course website under rapid analysis section. As you remember, the first line contains the project name, which in this case is called Electronic Health Records Software Development. Click Enter. And the first summary task listed on the course website is called Patient Information Management. Go ahead and type that in. So let's go ahead and uh, enter the first task listed, which is admission, discharge, and transfer. Click on tab, and it brings you to the duration. This task has two parts. It has the configuration and it has the training. The order is that you have to configure the system first before you start training. So what we'll do is the task that you just entered will use that as a heading and then under that we'll put in configuration And then under configuration, we'll put in training. So let's continue and let's put in the next task, which is patient registration. Like the previous one, this like the first task that you entered earlier. This one also has two parts. It has the configuration and training parts as well. So let's go ahead and enter configuration. Training. The next, the next task is called Enterprise Master Patient Index.
this one only has the configuration section so we'll just put in configuration oops and the last task for this section is called patient scheduling this one is a two-parter as well configuration and training okay so now that we have 